What's happening ladies? Thanks for clicking on the video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little walk around on this moto trailer I built. Open open cargo trailer from uh, Tractor Supply. This is their uh, four by six trailer. Single axle, I think it's a 1500 pound axle. This is not the smallest one they make, but the next to the smallest, I believe. Didn't do much to it. I got this for my brother. Two sets of E-Tracks. Had to cut them a little bit short. They're five foot E-Tracks. Ran one in the back, one in the front. <laughs> <laughs> and I put the extra on the sides. You can It's perfect size for a single Grom or a small bike. If you want to run two bikes, you need to run a Asta face. Ha! I don't get it. Otherwise the handlebars hit. It's a real simple setup. There's not much to it. I, these uh, chocks, you can buy these for like 50 bucks. I made these. This is just for Harbor Fate for like, I think $13. The other trailer I got, uh, it's it. You, know, you can't even see it. Uh, that's a that's a six by twelve uh, enclosed. It had these in there. I just chopped the webbing off and then I welded these down to the bottom of them instead of paying fifty bucks for them. And then the, the ring that was left over, I just welded to the to the trailer over there. Put some chocks in it and then got these and I got these rings that E Track clip in. They were pretty cheap. I think I got ten of them for twenty five bucks or something. Got to represent, son. Speaking of, got some t-shirts up on the site. This this one was from Teespring, and I, I'm not gonna sell their junk for you. That quality was crap. So I'm going through Printful now. They're up on the website if you wanna grab some. It says I can't wheelie on the back, others for break, foot break, foot break, but whatever. It helps out. I make hardly anything on them, but uh, it's just cool to get my name out there and see people wearing them. Back to the trailer. That is pretty much it. It's really, really great for like uh, day trips. If you're just gonna run to the track, if you're just going to a group ride somewhere that's like three hours away and you're not gonna ride a ground for three hours or even two, or hell, one is kind of a long day. For just running running somewhere for the day, it's great because you don't wanna leave your Grom on it overnight or anything that's of any value because it's an open trailer. That's why I got an enclosed one for the overnight stuff. Other than that, I have no complaints. It tows really great. Just make sure you put some tongue weight on it. Otherwise, it's gonna whip around behind you. I can barely see it behind uh, the forerunner over there when it's behind me other than the handlebars on the bike but uh it does ride nice and easy get yourself a small trailer some e-track buy these or make them and you got yourself a nice little trailer to haul stuff around if you don't own a truck and it's lightweight i can pick this thing up on its ass and lean it up against a wall or something if i only had like a one car garage which would is a lot probably pretty good for a lot of you guys or if you have an apartment in your parking space in your parking garage you can put it in the front lean it up against the wall and uh, chain it down it's an option for you if you're looking for something to haul your stuff and you don't have any place to put it it's also a tilt trailer you can tilt it if you want <laughs> or this board was on there my brother put that on there like for a little makeshift ramp i'm strong enough to pick this stuff up i don't really use it but uh, thanks for watching if you got anything out of this hit me with a like if you didn't get anything out of it, hit me with a dislike. I don't care. Don't forget it. Murder on the Mitten, August 28th, end of this month. I'll see you guys there, I hope. And we'll see you then. Take care. Bye. Thanks.